Welcome to my channel and welcome back to another video. Enjoy! Okay, so I took the hair wig off, whatever. I took it off so I can reinstall it. So, y'all are gonna watch me install the wig. Ah, yay! <laughs> First thing, growth oil. I put that all throughout my hair, especially in the front where my baby hair is growing. My hairline is getting reduced by these growths around because I have my hairs growing. So I'm trying to keep up with that and make sure that it continues to grow. So I just do it all around the front. Then I go inside my hair. Go through all of my hair. And I don't have braids in right now, which is probably a good thing at this point, just because, I don't know, it just makes it easier. I do have like this little bob situation going on, but my hair is growing, so it won't be a bob for long. I'm just combing it out. And I'm gonna spray well, let me take some of this hair off of this brush so I can keep up with my goals of anti-shedding for my hair. Like minimal shedding. Like my hair is going to be shed proof. Okay, so the oil is most certainly dripping down my face right now. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, it's gonna get wiped off. Just have to make sure. Oh my goodness. Oh, perfect. So I'm gonna wipe it off. With a cotton round. breakage growth sheen it stops breakage and split ends and so basically I'm just gonna spray this all throughout my hair just like this and I'm gonna do it with a brush to make it easier and I'm for sure gonna get that kitchen Y'all know the back of that hair. Making sure I get my ends. And then my hairline. So those are the only two products I'm putting in my hair right now. It's gonna be flat, so just watch and learn, ladies. Watch and learn, gentlemen. Watch and learn, kids. Watch and learn, humans. <laughs> okay, so now I have the wig cap on, right? And I'm pushing it. I'm getting it fitted so it specifically covers the hair line and my baby hairs are protected and the side of my hairs are protected because I sprayed that stuff in and put the oil in okay so now this is what it looks like I'm not gonna cut it and I'm not gonna mold it or melt it or whatever because I'm gonna be going on and off of this wig so now the wig that I'm gonna be using is this one. This is a 28 inch. Um, the brand specifically, I'm not gonna shout them out, but I did get this off of Amazon. I did cut the ends, I clipped them. So it looks pretty good, it looks pretty healthy. And I did wear this yesterday, so it does have like the baby hairs kind of melt 
want to or whatever, but I'm gonna go through and do them differently today. Um, I am about to go to the weight room, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm probably gonna get like my baby hairs done after I come back, but this wig came with a strap. It did not come with combs, it just has a strap in it. So with the strap, I'm basically gonna just tighten it up a little bit. I had it looser yesterday, but today is a new day and I need it to be a little bit more secure. So we're just gonna loosen it up. Since yesterday was the first day I wore it, I did put more adhesive on it. But for today, all I'm gonna need to do is just do the baby hairs. Since it doesn't have any combs, there's nothing poking me in the back. There's nothing poking me on the sides. It's very like just fitting, flush, and comfortable. I pull back the back and voila. So now the wig is literally already on. It is a glueless wig. And what I'm gonna do now is just do the baby hairs put the wrap on and keep it tied up or probably put it down with the wrap still on though so I'm just gonna be doing like the perimeter so it's gonna look like this when it's on since it's gonna be looking like this when it's on I have to go in with A little bit of adhesive, just a little bit of adhesive. But before I go in with the adhesive, not adhesive, it's not like glue, y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be using the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. So it's not like a glue. It's a little bit of the haze. A little bit of the haze. <laughs> a little bit of the haze. A little bit of the haze. I don't know why I'm saying that, y'all. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where I'm hearing that from. But that's what it sounds like. Or that's why I'm, how I'm saying it. So anyways. So now before the wake up. I'm gonna go ahead and I mean before the what you wanna call that the glue down the liquid gold adhesive a little bit of the adhesive <laughs> a little bit of the adhesive and I'm really just going to the perimeter because I don't want anything extra being extra. Okay. And this way really is comfortable because I actually slept in it. It was giving and providing comfort. So much comfort that it was comfortable to sleep in. That's how you know it work. That's how you know it good. That's how you know. That's how you know. Okay. This is my little melt band. I'm not using any heat on it. And I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to fit it around the perimeter of what I just put down. And while I kind of like hold this gonna kind of push back the other hairs the bigger hairs and then I'm gonna go in with this 
bummed. I put my ear down like that. And then I put this side up like this. And now it's just gonna hold it in place. And it's gonna get it together. Now I'm gonna slide the back of the wig band up because the back of it does not need to be, like it doesn't need to be on my ears. My ears gonna be looking like a little bit extra, but that's how they gonna be looking. Okay, so the wig band is on with a little bit of adhesive. So this liquid bulb hold, the bulb hold liquid gold <laughs> is on there. And the serums and the spray are on there. And basically this is how it's gonna be worn to the gym. But I am gonna probably put it in a ponytail. Or have it down. Eh. Since I'm going to be in the gym and like, you know, sweating. I don't want it to slip too hard. But I might not be sweating that much. Because I think today I'm going to work on abs. But that's besides the point. So, there you go. There y'all have it. This was me. Literally. Installing. Reinstalling. A glueless wig with a little bit of the <laughs> Just a little bit of the So now, um, I'm going to put my workout wear on and go to the right room. Thank you for watching this video. I'm not gonna put any curls in it today because I'm not rocking this wig like that. I'm not wearing it like that. You know, if I was gonna put curls in it at a different time, I'll probably do that with y'all at a different time. But I'm not gonna do that today, so. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been a short installation of a wig, 28 inch. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Bye. Building the glutes, building the legs, building the arms, strengthening the whole body. I've been on this treadmill for four minutes now, and I probably will. Do like 10 minutes of it today because I was doing six minutes already. Awesome. Deadlifts. RDLs. I had to make sure that I got that pump in for the, for the glutes today. All of the glute muscles. I did it a little bit of arms, but. I had an idea of doing abs before I got here now. I wasn't in the position or I wasn't in the Yeah, I can say that. I wasn't in the position to actually want to lay on the floor and do abs. So I figured if I do my whole body. Of course it'll be working out my core as well because whole body. So a little bit of everything. Got less than five minutes on the treadmill. Then I'll probably do two more sets of RDLs and that machine right there. And then I'll be done with my workout for today. Have y'all seen my nails blue? I ain't go back to the other style that I had, but I 
Okay, I tried to dye my son's hair blue yesterday. It did not take. It didn't take because his hair is really, really dark and I didn't bleach it. So, I knew it wasn't going to take, but it is what it is. I do have a clip of that. I sent a clip to my baby daddy, so I'll include like a little bit of it so y'all can see what his hair is like looking like. He is back there running around, but you know I'm focused on what I'm doing, so I can stop. Work out. Now I'm at the business center pulling off and I'm going to check out my YouTube analytics. My YouTube analytics. And To say no, it's correct because you know we spring forward or whatever, so it's 2 17. Mm -hmm. 2 17 in the morning. <sighs> I'm on this computer right now, this desktop. Really going to smooth this. I wonder if that one, now that one don't go in the house over there. It's been on the screen for a little minute now. A little minute. I put in a good workout. I adjusted the way that I was wearing my waist trainer so it like is like uh, doing this thing for real. <laughs> it's doing this thing. I don't have my tripod with me, so I'm just letting y'all sit right there on the computer. Alright, so I'm not going to need to work here. Let's go to YouTube. Somebody got 75,000. Unopened messages in their inbox. Like, wow. Well, that ain't me. As soon as I hit YouTube, I ain't even gonna sign into the analytics right now. I'm gonna look me up. I'm gonna look me up, okay? Sincerely sin. Oh, wait, that's not my YouTube name anymore. My YouTube name is Millionaire. Instagram is sincerely sin. My TikTok is sincerely sin. I did make a Snapchat this morning while in bed, but I didn't do anything else. So 16 hours ago, I did drop a video. The video right now is at 479 views. Okay. Two days ago, I dropped a video. That video is at 3,006, around 600 views. Over 600 views. In the range of 600 views. I have 82 videos out right now. So this is how it's looking, okay. And let's see. There's two songs that I have on here are doing well. The Monster song is at 12,000 views. And the Y song I dropped is at 7.1K. So now we're going to search up my other YouTube channel, which is Center Gang Entertainment. Let's check out the views and the things going on for that one. So for this channel, I got two videos out, which are two audios. I have 1,000.99K subscribers. So y'all make sure y'all click that link in the description and go subscribe. 
and the monster song is at 1.8k on this channel and then the y song is at 1k so it's doing good it's doing all right i am currently uploading a video on my sims beauty channel and we're gonna go to that channel right now that one has 2.42k subscribers with 13 videos and three shorts so when that video is uploaded fully y'all will see it on the video as well i have one the highest view amount is 1k but that's doing good because i don't really be on that channel that much but i i my whole deal ideal with that is once i get a vanity i'll be buying more makeup so that way i can actually sit down take my time i don't have to stand up and do makeup you know because standing up in a restroom doing makeup all day is not something that i want to do but if the, i was out of vanity i would feel more comfortable meaning that i would get more work done when i'm really comfortable i get the most amount of work done i think that's why i am such a great at home worker but I'm also great in the office as well. You know, I can also learn the steps of what I need to do in the office. I can communicate very well, so it just works out perfectly. Everything that I'm trying to do just works out perfectly. I'm cooling off, I can feel it. And let's see what other channel. I do have a channel with my son. Go ahead and look that up. It's the Bubby and Sin YouTube channel. Right now we have 1,771.71k. Ooh, we doing good on this channel, okay? On our views, looks like the highest amount was 4.8, almost 5k views, okay? We're doing really good. Welcome back to uh That was my voice on one of the channels. Cause they ain't got no headphones, they just got the speakers playing up loud. Uh, <laughs> but we're doing really good at this channel. I literally I love that the fact that uh we both love you too. And those are the only channels I actually have active at the moment. I have done some research about the things that I'm going to change it all. I'm going to do it this way because like the view and the lighting. I have done some research about, you know, where to get the items that I need to get for um, my companies that I'm starting well I've started or starting or progressing with progressing with that's the best word and I found a vendor for Sims Beauty and I think I'm gonna start off with this vendor and I just need to decide what I want my first product to be and for Sims Fitness I'm gonna decide what I want my first product to be as well but also I've decided that for each of the companies, I am going to start off with t-shirts and tank tops because I feel like t-shirts and tank tops are the best way to promote, support, you know, everything. And who don't like a t-shirt? T-shirt time? Who don't like a t-shirt, okay? But yeah, let me go ahead and get off of this because that's really all I wanted to look up. You know what? While I'm here... Actually, I'm going to look up one more thing on Google. I'm going to look up $50 an hour work from home jobs. And we're going to see what pulls up. Okay, so it takes me to Indeed. They have 120 an hour to 131 an hour. They have licensed professionals. What else do they have? Let's select full time. 
Oh, we can't select that because it's having me sign in. So I'm not gonna sign in right now. We're just gonna look. They have a data engineer, which makes a range of 92,000 to 92,300 to 132,900 a year. A year is only 12 months, so. Y'all better get y'all certificates and stop playing with me. <laughs> they also have a remote sales agent, 60,000 a year. A Google Ads specialist. Now that's something I can do. For sure, for sure. But I can do that. I want to. This is $50 to $75 an hour. They have a customer success manager. Remote. They also have data engineer again, data scientist, a business analyst, a tax manager, a quality assurance engineer. The tax manager makes up to 180000 a year. Um, this other analyst makes from, it's a EPIC ambulatory analyst, 48 dollars 66 to 60 an hour 60 dollars an hour they also have a data warehouse data analyst which is remote that is a good one for 90,000 to 150,000 a year so let's look at this one real quick because a data warehouse data analyst, all you're really going to be doing is helping out with the warehouse it says what you'll need is five to seven years of experience in assembling, querying large, complex sets of data that meets business requirements. You need to basically know how to run programs like Python and Cloud Database, which are easy to learn. Um, a lot of SAAS companies and stuff like that. They do have a direct email address. I don't have my um, my actual resume on this computer, so I will not be sending that over. But it's good to look, you know, it's good to look around. They have a HIT Professional Billing Oak Remote. This is $43.25 to $60.09 an hour. It's remote, 100% remote. They're based out of Minneapolis. Um, let's see, it's an eight hour shift. They want five years of accounting experience, preferred but not required. Epic, three years preferred but not required. Professionally billing, three years preferred but not required. Four, five years, four, five, and six years of experience for the levels, but it's not required. And this is a contract to, rem to permanent position. Oh, this is cool. If I had my actual resume uploaded, I mean, I do have my resume on the actual Indeed site itself. Maybe I should take a swing, you know, take a, a luck, take a try and apply to one of these high remote positions that is going to be over what I'm currently aiming for so I can be more than satisfied. So let me go back to, I'm really trying to find something now that works well. I don't think I'm going to apply for that hit one because that's not, that's not it. Um, nah. <laughs> but that was a good one though. That was a good try for that. Uh, Let's go to page five, and let's see, we got data analyst, data analyst, they got, let's go on page seven, let's see, we got on page seven, um, let's see, college admissions, da 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 da, let's see, what they got, what they got. Customer success. Nope, I ain't gonna do that one. Uh-uh. No, that's not a good one. 
sure they got a director or Amazon a director. Mm, they do have a lot of 100% remote positions. 100% mortgage or leader. It's whatever it is, you know. So that's all I really wanted to look up. I didn't apply to do but it's good to look. So I feel like a great paying position is coming my way soon. Adobe, hello, me, baby. What else do I use? Uh, PayPal, what's cracking, baby? <laughs> okay, but now I'm going to turn this off. Uh, uh, I didn't turn it off, but I slept it. Slept, mode it. Turn off the monitor. I'm about to go get these kids from this game room so we can go back to the apartment because we are done and I'm cooled off. I'm not drip, drip, dripping sweat anymore. All right, y'all, let's go. Don't forget your phone and what else, whatever else you brought. Don't throw phones, Xavier. That's not cool. Apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. Is it cracking in? No, it's cracking. Come on. It's cracking. Oh, you just turned it on. Now, on the way to the apartment, we're on the way. Mm -hmm. I'm on the way back inside. But now, we thought of an excellent idea to go walk to a gas station that we haven't walked to in a long, in a few months, since we will be moving next month. It's like we gotta just have that last walk, you know? Because I ain't gonna be walking every day after this. I'm not. <laughs> for real though it's serious and I'm gonna just appreciate that walk because literally things have changed for the better huh? if Eddie wants to see Oreo he gonna be so happy when he gets unboxed but right now let's go we're about to walk down to his bike which is in the garage to see if he has air in his what? tire what? What do you guys so can he I can go? ride his Hi, bike but if you don't have air in his tire and i did put my hair in a clip a car clip if you don't got mm, that air freshener smells so good if you don't have air in his tire then he will be no i won't like walking stop yelling he will not be riding his bike Check the tires, squeeze the tires. Squeeze them, literally just see if you can squeeze it. Cause if you can squeeze it and it goes down, then you need air. Is it hard? Oh, yep, you need air cause it's going down, I can tell. All right, this is where we get your grandpa involved cause I don't know where the air pump is. Ask him if he can air your tires for you. Yeah, I think I'm walking.